Hello, welcome to Sun, Moon, Star, Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. This is going to be a pick a pal, how do they feel, um, but this is directed towards um, how does he feel about me, so keep that in mind. But again, it's not specifically about that, but that's how I am phrasing it internally. Um, so we have Pal 1 here, which is a beautiful shamanic dream quartz. I wish his sun was shining a little bit more so you can see like the reflexiveness, but this is an absolutely beautiful stone to work with. With my mermaid deck here, and then Pal 2's, we have a beautiful stunning rose quartz. I love this crystal. My first real rose quartz uh, with the Rider Waite deck, alright? So just please take your time to choose whichever Pal you're wanting, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, Paul Ones. This is going to be for if you chose the Shamanic Dream Quartz, a beautiful stone. This is going to be how your person feels about you. So I'm going to start off with some twin flame messages. So I'm about three cards here about how does this person feel towards this person. About three cards, how does this person feel towards this person. One more, please. Thank you. All right. So I have thought about you a lot lately, Paul Ones. All right. So, um... Nothing, com no one, no other compares to you, excuse me. Um, I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. Probably he's so afraid. That's what they always are. I am finally, finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So perhaps there was some like separation, some betrayal, some something that was just um, not pleasant that sit right with him. And so he's finally feeling the consequences of his actions. So that's good. All right. So we're going to see headspace, heart space towards you. And then if there will be any movement towards you, and then uh, just whatever else comes up after that. I haven't really planned out this one. I wanted to be a little bit more intuitive. So how does this person feel towards this person? All of a sudden, I'm super hot, and that's really weird. So perhaps there's a lot of um, like heated moments between you two, or just like a lot of passion between you guys. Um, headspace, heart space. How is this person feeling about this person? Headspace, heart space. Separation. Discombobulation, headspace, heart space, how is this person feeling? Ten of Pentacles, still some abundance there though. Still that like that vibe between you guys, as I say. And lastly here, Ace of Pentacles. All right, Head, heart space, how is this person feeling towards this person? Heart space, Empress, beautiful. So he feels like he's separated from a queen basically. The moon may have Pisces prominent in your chart or Pisces in your chart. He feels like you like are an enigma, someone who eludes him, someone who he can't really get a firm grasp on. Page of Swans. So it's really like childlike. And then Six of Swords. So he's thinking about moving towards you at least. Uh, bottom of the deck we have Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. He sees you as someone who's very like, um, someone that could be very like cold or maybe like just like kind of like unfeeling in a way. Um, but his overall headspace, heart space towards you. He's like, he's like trying to be like super pessimistic about it, but he still really loves you. He's trying to be like, um, like a sad boy basically, but like even his energy won't let him stay there. Bully, his inner child is really working on him right now, or his inner child is really like playing with him at the moment, um, or really just interacting and letting him know that this isn't, this isn't it, you know, this isn't it. This is like, this is the pinnacles is what you want, you know? So he, the, this is like letting him align with that basically, and letting him align with like moving towards you again, and moving towards a new beginning with you again. I will be clarifying. This is a very, your guy is very interesting because it's almost like he's lying to himself, but he's also very aware as well. Like he knows that he's feeling this, like this emptiness without you, but he's like, uh, but then he's like, oh, I feel this emptiness without her. Interesting. And not like even in a bad way, you know, it's kind of like you needing to be fed, you know, like you need to eat, you need love to survive, you need to eat to survive. I'm not getting any... I'm not getting much codependency, if any, to be honest with you, but that's why we have Oracle cards here. All right, so I'll just clarify headspace, heart space, spirit, please, for this person. 
unawakened exactly i don't know if i said unawakened specifically but this definitely this person definitely is awakening and he just has like i think i said that he has points of awareness and then points of dissociation or something along those lines yeah he does know that this is a special connection and he may even be lying to himself but he's wanting to move in a new direction with you but there is some fear here um surrender bottom of the deck third party we focus i'm getting this more so thought patterns here understanding this is opening your crown chakra of a victim healing uh root chakra wounds and healing all together so those are your chakras there so healing that energy um and then honestly what i'm going to do is um i'm going to pull a card for each um each thing here you'll see all right so just more messages for each message here and then i'm going to ask will he make it towards you or take action towards you I uh, just want to clarify each. I've looked up. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. So perhaps some social media talking there. You are an angel, beautiful, with a soulmate card. So he knows. He knows you. He knows your soul for sure. And he's like, what is this feeling? Men are also men are a little bit more uh, not open. <laughs> I've never, I have never forgotten you, even though you think I've had. So you may think that he's went in a new direction, but he has not forgotten you. And what is this fear card, please? Uh, actually, I'm going to do two for this one. Is it possible to forgive and forget? So perhaps that situation, which he, he thinks that he needs forgiving for something, um, it's just causing a lot of like spiraling and a lot of negativity. So forgiving yourself to forgive, like to spread that energy to him. And also not being afraid to send love and light his way. If this really is your divine partnership, if this really is your true connection, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. So him needing to like kind of plug up internal holes. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. I knew the fear card, fear card was gonna come in um, anyways. Um, and then I'm gonna do what action steps is this per person taking towards the feminine? What action is the masculine taking towards the feminine? What action is the masculine taking towards the feminine? What action is the masculine taking towards the feminine? Here we have the heart chakra. Here we have moving on, which is the six of swords. We have Trapped in Fear, the Eight of Swords. What action? One more, please. Oh, two more, I guess. <laughs> we have Universe. Oh, this is the World card. So things coming to a uh, cycle wrapping up. Intuition and Sacrifice the Hangman. So he, I think he will be taking steps towards you, but this will, honestly, this might be a really long process. So you just need to have a really open heart at this time and really believing that this can happen because this person does have a lot of fear that they need to work through. They do have two swords card here. So he is in a place of wanting to move on from the fear, but he's still trapped in the fear basically and that's showing up here. Um, and so he will be opening up his intuition at this time. So that means you need to open up your intuition and he will be changing his perspective about this relationship. So that means you need to also alter your opinion or your perspective. And I'm noticing the numbers here, two, one, two, two, one. So it's two, one, two, two, one. So just a lot of T's, a lot of ones. So a lot of feminine energy going back and forth. I'm sorry for the noise, by the way, uh, neighbors doing shit on the property is really annoying. I can't help it. Um, I'm going to be pulling a card, uh, two cards of advice for you, uh, what you can do to further, like, to um, kind of speed up the process of manifesting this relationship into your life, um, and that being kind of, like, relative, because knowing that everything takes time, and, like, you don't need this connection, basically, to complete you, but also knowing that you need love, <laughs> and you need companionship in life. All right, uh, two cards of advice, please. Power ones, the shamanic dream courts. Two, wow, automatically. We have deep knowing and peace. So you have a knowing um, that this person will be coming back around to you. And this person is definitely feeling separated from you. And that's not a good thing, but like it's a good thing that he's feeling that loss, basically. Like, yes, for the loss. Um, so the staying objective and having endurance at this time, going the distance in this relationship. 
are in this connection because again it, you may like i don't want to say there's a lot of waiting involved but it may just be a little bit to where it's just it, it feels like nothing you know but having that faith and if you have that deep knowing you know you have that deep knowing and also knowing that i do offer twin flame readings there are 75 us dollars if you're interested please leave a comment down below or you can follow me on instagram and book and book via dming me or you can book directly to my website all right uh just two more cards of advice Two more cards of advice. Two cards of advice, please. Thank you. That's too much. I'm going to take those two. And I'm going to show you these three. Cornucopia, celebration, door to personal healing and happiness, journey. So you two cards. Oh, wow. We have the heart chakra again. Wow. So we'll be opening up that heart chakra, pal ones. We'll be opening the heart chakra at this time to this connection because it definitely is wanting to be <laughs> and we have 22 here wow so we have your third chakra uh your solar plexus chakra um that is manipura and then again we have the heart chakra anahata and then we also have balance yin yang yin yang all right so just keeping all of those aspects in mind so your advice really is to kind of just like stay steady in what you know stay steady in who you are have an open heart have deep knowing have peace have balance and have an open soul plexus chakra, right? So thank you so much for watching, pal ones. If you thought it was going to be helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know that I'll offer a private one-to-one -one leadership program about expanding your spirituality. And when you do this, this will also help you call in an authentic romantic partnership or bring back the person who is running for me at this time. If you're interested, everything you need to know is in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiltreesgame.com, where you can book your free one-to-one -one consultation call with me um, to, to discuss whether or not you are a correct fit for the program. And you can also book your private reading with me at www.thesummonsetro.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at spiltreesgina. Thank you so much for watching, Pal Ones. Namaste. Hello, Pal Twos. This is going to be for if you chose the beautiful rose quartz. How do they feel about you? Um, I am addressing this as divine masculine to divine feminine so keep that in mind um first i'm going to pull some cards from my twin flame messages deck by the mystic moon uh, oracle and just see what comes up so i have about four messages from divine masculine to divine feminine four messages from divine masculine to divine feminine four messages from divine masculine to divine feminine please about this connection we have i just have to do something else right now please understand or please try to understand so perhaps busy with work or with whatever else he is doing you feel like home to me um wow a lot so maybe oh, in separation at this time or something i don't know i thought about you a lot lately and we'll take this one here lying was easier for me to tell you the truth so perhaps him not being honest about his emotions and or feelings towards you all right my heart is telling me to just do it so listening to your heart at this time so because if you want this connection to move forward you have to also put in the work as well all right so now i'm going to see how is he feeling about you all right so how is pal t is feeling about pal ones you know pinnacle is coming out perhaps he views you as abundant how does Pow 2 feel about Pow 1? <laughs> how does Pow 2's? How does Pow 2's Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How do they feel about the Divine Feminine Spirit? Uh, they're like, they must really love you guys. You might feel like a fool over here or something. So I won't be surprised if the fool card comes out. I'm getting just like this beautiful, naive energy. Um, Almost like really childlike and playful, but just almost like also weary as well. So. How does this person feel headspace? How does this person feel about divine feminine headspace? Divine DM to DF. We have Ace of Cups, beautiful. We have King of Swords, interesting. So I guess he's really objective about how he feels about you know. Like, okay, I love this girl or I like this person. Wow, we have lovers. Come on, go, please, spirit. How does this person feel headspace? Headspace. How does this person? feeling about divine feminine and then we have the six of pentacles and then head space i mean excuse me heart space we have page of pentacles king of swords clarify king of swords how's this person feeling towards divine feminine 
I was just first feeling towards the line feminine, cool. And all three popped out. So bottom of the deck here we have death, Scorpio energy. Perhaps this connection is transforming or <laughs> will transform into this beautiful two of cups union. And we do have two of cups and the lovers on the board here, so beautiful. Wow, and there is that fool energy. I knew I was sensing it. He feels like a fool for you. He's like, he's almost having to take a, a couple step, steps back. He's trying to remain objective about how he's feeling about you, but it's like the emotions are super, super intense, all right? So yeah, he's trying to just kind of like have an open heart, trying to like all like kind of like more like just less, like not even attached, less bonded to you basically is what he's trying to be, less bonded to you, but it's not working. Lovers, he feels like he can co-create with you and beautiful, like he has the energy of exploring, like he really Power to use. This person really, really wants to explore this connection with you. And they really want to explore what it would be like to be in a relationship with you. So I'm interested to see what's holding this person back. Perhaps this King of Swords energy um, isn't allowing him to take a step forward. The King of Swords is very objective. So that means he can kind of like not be as in touch with his emotions. So making sure that you are staying in touch with your emotions. That you aren't having too much order or discipline because... You need it to be a little bit more uh, like loosey goosey in a way. Like, and to like, I, I don't want to say don't be serious about this connection because you definitely should be serious about who you invite into your life. But having more like childlike energy um, around, perhaps. I'm going to just randomly pull one of these cards here. I'm being called to. Just one card. Thank you. Turn back. Very interesting. So perhaps he's like kind of like um he's having doubts perhaps because of the past here i want to put that you can't really see it um there it goes you can kind of see that no i'll just put it there <laughs> all right um so he may be having some doubts basically um and you may be having some doubts as well and this is what, why this king of swords energy is here he's like he's seeing you and he's wanting you and like he has the that like auspicious energy around you but he's also just a little bit like i'm weary we have grief here we have separation coming in on the bottom of the deck here not coming in literally so it's very interesting all right so we're gonna see what comes out um for clarifying this yeah. your guy loves you though he just he's a little bit like in his head he may have air prominent in his chart somewhere um, and so it's just causing him to be like more like, okay, I have to explore my options. I have to like see what's out there. I have to make sure that like, I'm not like quote settling. Um, this person definitely isn't settling for you, but it can, it's just this, in, this connection might be super, super intense because death is here, you know, death is super intense. Scorpio energy, by the way. You have guide. So he feels like he was guided towards you guide it towards you, guide it to, uh, like, just to meet you as a person, or he will begin to feel that way. King of Swords, Two of Wands, Karmic Partner. Yeah, so he's seeing you as just, like, he loves you, but, like, he's really, really scared. Um, I'm going to clarify Karmic Partner with this deck here. Uh, lovers, three, uh, three of Pentacles here, please. Lovers, three of Pentacles. Maybe a little bit more pragmatic. Lovers Three Pinnacles. Ooh, a lot coming out there. There's a lot of baggage that he like a lot of unhealed baggage here. We have stuck, received victim. So victim mentality. I'm not taking all of these cards for that one. Um, but yeah, like he, he loves you. He sees you as this like beautiful person, but also, there's spirit there as well. Lover is doctor of the soul. Makes sense. So this energy is so, like, it makes so much sense, basically. It's like, God, he's just, like, in, a little bit in his head, but, like, for the right reasons, I feel, almost. And then we have union. So there definitely will be union with this person. And the twin flame card is, wow. Twin flame card is right next to the divine masculine. Uh, this was, like, halfway in the deck, but it's here. <clears throat> we have communication, nostalgia, material world, tribe, clinging to the past at this time. So he definitely is looking in the past 
to like try to make a decision about this connection. So perhaps you healing the past and healing past wounds. Um, clarify this karma partner card, please. Is this karma partner called the divine feminine washing this or another karma? Or not another karma. Is this karma partner card the divine feminine washing this? I'm going to ask that one question. Um, just one card. Is this? Oh, they gave me three, by the way. All right. <clears throat> Oh, we have death on the bottom of the deck again. So this is definitely not you. This is definitely not your energy. Um, this is definitely him needing to kind of like step into the threshold of death and allow whatever else to fall away. But that's not the soul energy, so it makes sense. Um, yeah, so is this a karmic partner, you? This was the cards that came out. We have sacrifice, the hangman, three of uh, cups here, and then the fool here. So no, this is definitely different energy. It's definitely him kind of like clinging to the past a little bit. Um, so I'm interested to see what Twin Flame Messages clarifies the Karmic Partner card. And then we're going to look at possible um, steps towards you or what action towards you. And it's so exciting. A little time for me, I guess. All right. So guide, we have, if I knew them, what I know now, I would have made different choices. Karmic Partner. You feel like home to me, yeah. Your beauty still moves me. How could you still love me after all I've done? Uh, I think he's being a little bit dramatic. <laughs> it's easy to stay away right now. So perhaps in separation with this person, but again, this person truly does like value you as a person. Um, this of going through some stuff that needs to still be healed, basically. All right, um, will this person take steps towards, will the Divine Masculine take steps towards the Divine Feminine? Will the Divine Masculine take steps towards the Divine Feminine? We have Dope Chocolate Vishuddha. Will the Divine Masculine take steps towards the Divine Feminine? We have Positive Movement Forward and we have Harvest. So that's definitely a yes. He will take steps towards you. But definitely this is coming after a time of like him like being separated from you. So try, don't reach out to him. Uh, we have the lovers here again foundation and yeah don't reach out to him um allow him to communicate with you all right um and so now i'm going to pull your advice for the divine feminine and then see the end of the reading two cards of advice for the divine feminine please two cards of advice for the divine feminine two cards of advice for the divine feminine here we have come to the edge that's being really open the spirit and opening yourself up to like the other side and we have orphan dealing with your own abandonment issues uh here we do have two fives is your number five 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 this relationship is on the brink of change uh we have deep knowing milk and honey exchanging gifts i knew this card was going to come out we have soulmates yes 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 and last here uh just two cards two more cards so you're just being asked to deal with your own shit a little bit and to commune with spirit more and to be open to what you're doing in life as well, but also being open to the connection as well. All right. We have three cards of advice here. So we have anxiety, contract, door to, door to spirit, literally. So using whatever anxiety, knowing that you have a contract with this person, perhaps a lifelong contract to be honest with you um and use this as a way to bridge yourself the spirit basically all right um and i don't know why they said just do one more card just one more they said wow love i came into the practice of seeing the good in all things literally all right well this will be the end of your reading pal -tunes. if you find this video to be helpful please make sure you like comment subscribe to know that i offer a powerful one-to-one -one six week mature program around expanding your spirituality if you're interested everything you need to know is in the description box down below including my landing page www.spooshygene.com you can book your free one-to-one -one cons consultation call there to see if you are a right fit for the program and to also you can also follow me on Instagram at SpooltreeGina and you can book your one-to-one -one reading with me about your Twin Flame partnership at www.spooltreeGina.com. Thank you so much for watching, Pautus. Namaste.